Hello, Kamato Class! Welcome back sa isa na namang pag-aaral ng aralin sa mathematics. Sometimes, we are as working with this, throwing a dice, taking marbles on a jar, tossing coins, and picking from a deck of cards. And we usually apply the classical formula of the probability of event which is equal to the number of event over the number of sample space. And we will use that with this presentation. Our topic is about solving problems involving probability. So let us try to work on with an example for us to understand this topic. Let us consider that we have this. When a die is rolled, calculate the probability that an even number will be obtained. So if this is the case, maybe. So the first thing that we need to work on is the sample space of the experiment. So, and how can we determine the sample space of the experiment? Since we are talking of a die, and we know that when we talk of a die, there are six spaces. And here are the paces of a die. So it can be like that. It can be that. Three. It can be four. And so on. And we will notice that there are six paces of a die. And that will be the number of sample space. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. After getting the sample space, we'll be working with the event E or the event that we will be talking about. And the event is even number must be obtained. So talking of this, the even number are two, four, and six. Hence, we have that event is two, four, and six. And using this formula, the probability of event is equal to the number of event over the number of sample space and the number of event as we know is 3, and the number of sample space is 6. When we work on with the lowest term, therefore the answer is 1 over 2, or the probability that even number will be obtained is 1 over 2. Let's have another example. How about this one? When two coins are tossed, it's with two possible outcomes, head and tails. Calculate the probability that two tails are obtained. So working with this, so again, we'll be working with the sample space. At ang mga sample space natin yan, we have the head and tail. Pwede rin namang head and head. Pwede namang tail and head. Pwede rin tail and tail. Hence, we have four sample space. Then after that, we'll be working with event E. So two heads are obtained. Kasi yun yung tinatanong, two heads. So, ang two heads natin ay isa lang. Ito yun, no? Okay, this one. So, therefore, there is only one event. And using again the formula of the probability, so we are going to substitute the number of event, which is 1, and the number of sample space, which is for 1, 2, 3, and 4. And that is written already in the lowest term. And that's the probability the two tails are obtained when we toss a coin. Okay, let's have the next one. How about this one? Two dice are rolled. Find the probability that the sum is equal to 1. Then the same thing will be looking that the sum is equal to 6 and the sum is less than 13. So let us try to solve that one at a time. First thing that we'll be looking for is the sample space. And here are the sample spaces. So the sample space natin ay, we have 1 and 1, ay, pwede rin 1 and 2, 1 and 3, 1 and 4, pwede rin 1 and 5, 1 and 6. So pwede rin namang 2 and 1, 2 and 2, 2 and 3, 2 and 4. Again, these are the possible outcome when we roll 2 dice. 2 and 5, 2 and 6, 
3 and 1, 3 and 2, 3 and 3, 3 and 4, 3 and 5, 3 and 6, 4 and 1, 4 and 2, 4 and 3, 4 and 4, 4 and 5, 4 and 6. Feathering 5 and 1, 5 and 2, 5 and 3, 5 and 4, 5 and 5, 5 and 6. Kapag naman 6 yung una, 6 and 1, 6 and 2, 6 and 3, 6 and 4, 6 and 5, and 6 and 6. So that's the number of sample space. So let us try to work on. So let's start with the first one. That equal to 1. So, ibig sabihin, the sum is equal to 1. Pag in natin itong pinakamababa, 1 and 1. 1 plus 1, 2. So, walang magiging sagot from the sample space na when you add, the sum is 1. Hence, wala siyang outcomes na sum ay 1. Therefore, using the formula which is the probability of event is equal to the number of event over the number of sample space is equal to 0 over 36. And galing yan 0, Dito yon San galing ang 36? So, pag binilang natin ito, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. And therefore, our answer is 0. Since 0 is the result, this indicates impossibility of the event. So let's have the next one. Letter B tayo. Equal to 6. So based from our sample space, alin alin ang equal to 6? So event is, sum is equal to 6. So alamin natin, alin dyan? Okay, yan. 1 plus 5, that will be 6. Kasi ito 2, ito 3. Pag ina dito 4, pag ina dito 5. Ito hindi rin. Ito 3, pag in 4, ito ay 5. Okay, so we have this. 2 plus 4, 6. 2 plus 5, 7. Ito magiging 8. Ito magiging 4. Ito magiging 5. Ayan, 3 plus 3 is 6. 3 plus 4, hindi rin. Ito hindi rin. So, 3 plus 6, hindi rin. Ito naman, hindi rin. 4 plus 2. Okay, that's 6. 4 plus 3, 4 plus 4, 4 plus 5, 4 plus 6, hindi rin. 5 plus 1. That's 6. The rest, Wala ka nang makikita when you add the answer is 6. Hence, mayroon tayong limang possible event na mangyayari. So, ito yung mga niya 1 and 5, 2 and 6, 3 and 4, uh, 3 and 3, 4 and 2, and 5 and 1. So, yun. Kaya, we have 5. Therefore, using the formula, the answer is 5 over 36. Hindi na siya malalabas term and that's the answer. How about letter C? Less than 13. So, less than 13 ito pag ina. Same with this. Doon tayo sa mataas. 6 plus 6, 12. Less than 13 din yon. Ibig sabihin lahat pala siya kapag ina mo less than 13. So, let's try dito. 4 plus 1, oh, 5. Ito, 6 plus 1, 7. Dito, 5 plus 4, so 9. So, all of that, when you add, it is less than 13. So, kaya ang sagot natin, 36 sa number of event when we talk of that. Okay? So, let's have the next one. Kamit ang formula. Substitute natin 36 over 36. The answer is 1. Therefore, the probability that the sum is less than 13 is 1. Since 1 is the result, this indicates certainty of the event. It is a fact that definitely true or an event is definitely going to take place. Okay, let's have the next. How about this one? A jar is stored, four red marbles, seven yellow, yellow marbles, and ten blue marbles. What is the probability that a marble taken at random from the jar would be blue? So let's have this, kunyari, ito yung ating jar. So, ayan, may mga iba't ibang kulay ng marble. We have the blue, the yellow, and the red one. So, let's have this one. So, let's have the solution. Gamit ngayon ng table kasi pwede rin tayong gumamit ng table. So, from the table, ang red natin ay based from the given. Yellow is 7 from the given again. And blue is 10. At kapag inad natin yan, 
ang magiging sagot ay 21. Para we are particular with the sample space. So, 21 yung magiging sample space natin. Galing dito, 21 din yung marble na nasa loob ng jar. Pero ang tanong, what is the probability that a marble taken at random from the jar would be blue? So, ang ating event E dapat blue marble. At ang blue marbles natin ay 10. So, gamit ang formula, then substitute, and that will be 10 over 21. Hence, that's the probability of taken um, blue marbles on a jar. Okay, that's all. Come out of class. God bless us.